We're talking profit strategy with Kim Anderson this week. He's our crop marketing specialist. And Kim, producers want to know how they can get ahead in 2018. So let's kind of just review the current situation. Well, looking at the situation, you got to start with price. Uh, over the last 10 years, the Oklahoma price has averaged $5.90 a bushel. Uh, the 2018 for harvest delivered wheat, the market's offering right at $4 a bushel. Uh, also in the market is a protein premium that we have now. If you look at ordinary wheat, that's uh, wheat with le less than 11% protein. It's a zero basis or zero premium. 11.4% protein wheat has a premium of $1.15. And you can look at uh, why are prices low and the, the protein premium. One, we're short of premium uh, protein around the world, but the stocks are high. World any stocks are projected to be 9.7 billion bushels, a record. It's about the third record in a row. U.S. any stocks are lower this year. They were uh, average is 840 million bushels. Uh, this year they're projected to be 933 million bushels. That's down from 1.2 billion last year, so that's good. Hard red winter wheat stocks are also lower this year. They're projected to be uh, 453 million bushels compared to 593 last year. Well, let's talk now about how Oklahoma is looking. Well, you look at uh, Oklahoma, let's start with the yields. Uh, the average yield is 30 uh, bushels uh, per acre. But, you know, that includes your grazed yield, uh, uh, grazed pasture. It includes all those uh, wheat land that are used for other sources and wheat is kind of a, a short cash crop there. Uh, there's a, a significant number of producers that will average 45 bushels or better. Uh, you look at cost of production for the uh, 30 bushel an acre land you're looking at probably $175 of variable cost or out of pocket cost, $15 fixed, to give you about $190 an acre there. 45 bushel wheat, and talking to some of the people, say around $200 uh, out of pocket, 15 fixed for about $215 an acre. And then what does all this mean for income? Well, if you're looking at income at 30 bushels an acre, $4 wheat, that's $120. You got 190 in it, you're looking at $70 an acre loss there. That's if you better have some other income on, on those acreage. If you've got 45 bushels uh, with, uh, say, 11.4% protein, and say you get about three-fourths of that protein premium, you're going to get about 475 That gives you an income of around $214, which is right at break-even. The last few weeks that we've been visiting with you on SUNUP, it's mostly been the negative category. What can producers do with all of this information? What's their takeaway? Well, I think their takeaway is that they're at $4 wheat, which is slow. There are some producers out there breaking even or have a break even cost less than four dollars. They're make they're not making enough to to make a living, but they are at least making a profit. I think you've got to look at best management practices. You've got and it's not just I can go from. 30 bushels or less per acre average now and get it up to 45 uh, bushels in one year. I think you're looking over time, you're looking at uh, double cropping or you're looking at another crop to break those disease cycles, those weed cycles, those fungicide cycles. You've got you've to look at practices to get your, your yields above average and when you get yields above average and you're producing a quality product, there's producers last year with 60 plus uh, test weight wheat with 14 percent protein and they merchandised that product and they got a premium for it. They made some money this with, with below $4 prices this year. I think that's what we're talking about and I think that's the message. Okay, Kim, thanks a lot, a lot to think about. And now we want to turn to Brian Arnell with his next lesson on improving soil health. This week he's talking about lime.